Good morning, ladies. How are you this morning? Yes, I'm um I'm not gonna be long, but I got I got something to say. You know, I'm gonna get right to the point too. You know, um it's just like we're talking about this 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 human trafficking. We're talking about it because it's a problem. We're talking about it a lot, and everybody seems to be talking about it. Now, you know, it's so many of our women that's being stolen. Women, children, girls, boys. They These people out here don't care who they get. You know, some of them are probably selling them back into slavery. Some of them are probably just selling them for sex slaves. And if any of you uh, women have ever been molested as a child. You can imagine what your child could possibly go through if they get it, if they get taken. Now, listen, I know I seem harsh, but this is a very serious, serious situation that we are facing. Most of us are facing it, you know, and we cannot be walking around and acting like it won't be us. We can't be careless with our children. We have got to watch them. If you don't watch them, you're going to have us walking around looking for them for you. And you're going to be crying about that. And I mean, I'm not putting that down because I like one will be walking around looking for them. But I'm going to tell you something else I'm doing. I'm keeping my ears to the ground. I want to see if I hear anybody anywhere. Keeping my eyes open, listening out for noises, listening out for sounds, listening out for crying, listening out for somebody that's being abused in any kind of way because it might be your child or our child or one of the children that's missing. The little girl or the college student that was missing three weeks ago still have not been found. Her father's a pastor in Birmingham and yes, he's still worried about her and we're worried about her too, but not just her. All across this country, children and women are being missed. As I've said before, when you come outside the stores and quit being so absorbed in your phones, put them phones up, leave your phone in the car and pay attention to the precious cargo that the Lord has given you. So you don't want to be praying to God to help you find the child that he has blessed you with because you're in the store, in Walmart, in Target, and your kids is on the other side of the store and you walking around talking to your friends on the phone. Put it down. It's not the most important important thing your children are and once they get them it might be hard to get them back keep them with you it don't matter if you absorbed in your phone keep them with you know where they are i noticed these fathers out here when they come in these stores and i'm in there at night they are definitely asking their children where you going Come back over here by me. Stay by me. And I'm saying, that's right, Daddy. Keep them kids by you because they're stealing them from Walmart. If you come outside, pay attention to what you are parked by. If it's a van, you know, people in these vans are grabbing these people. They're giving you shots. I'm listening to all, this, all the information that's being put out there. If there's little old ladies, it's Spanish, black, white, any color person standing around selling some perfume and want you to try it. Stay away from her. Stay away from her. You know, truth of the matter is, and I hate to say this, we're going to have to start taking care of ourselves out here. And sometimes we may even have to fight back. Yes. That's the issue, but it's about saving my family because my family is very important. So when I got my girls, my granddaughters with me, I keep them close by. I protect them with my life and keep yours close by too, y'all. Love and respect.